I'm Annie Randall with ViewCast. It's hard to resist an adorable dog, and this one is no exception. Meet Bogey, a rescue dog facing a life with front legs that stopped working, until a Vanderbilt engineering team came to the rescue. Here's Barb Kramer with Bogey's story. There's a tree! Oh, look! Oh my god! <laughs> this was a first for Bogey. Oh, look at the His owners in disbelief. He never, ever, ever moved his arms like that, ever. Bobby and Karen Lieb found Bogey at an animal shelter. He was going to be put down, and the staff had hidden him in the back. They said he was unadoptable. It was obviously breaks in both arms that were never treated. With bones fused in place, Bogey uses his elbows to get around. He didn't really walk, he kind of hops. So he uses his back legs to lift his body up and then he'll kind of bounce off his elbows. The angle that his elbows bent at is the same, but his shoulder is... Vanderbilt engineering researchers, including students, came up with a solution, leg braces. We used to make it too tall and then it was too short. If it's too short, then it rotates on his arm. And if it's too tall, then it starts to dig into his side. And the ones he didn't like, you could really tell. He would stand there and simply not move. The team turned to thermoplastics. We wanted something low cost and easy to manufacture that you can heat it up with a hair dryer or a heat gun and mold it to the shape you want. And we placed these on Bogey and we sat him on the ground. And sure enough, he started moving in a way that uh, we'd never seen him move before, which is he started stepping foot over foot and actually walking like a, a normal dog. And then you think this will be better than the boom one? Electrical yeah. engineering undergrad Nikki Steiner says this research is rewarding. Yeah, I think it's definitely a challenge, but it's great getting some real-world experience because, you know, you hear all the theories in the classroom and then actually being able to apply it and see it affect um, society in some way. It's really great. The work with Bogey may help researchers develop prosthetics for people as well as other disabled pets. Uh, right now, we estimate the price of these is less than $50 compared to $1,000 for typical uh, pet prosthetics. We're designing this in a way that is simple enough and inexpensive enough that other people could replicate similar designs. They have a how-to guide available on their website. Get right. <laughs> Stop licking me. <laughs> and it all started with Bogey. I love him. He's my little friend. They still have me sometimes. <laughs> For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer. You can learn a lot more about biomechanics and Vanderbilt design here, or search Bat Lab on our homepage. Lots of Vanderbilt research begins outside the lab. For Professor Jessica Oster, that means going deep underground in caves. The ultimate goal of our research is to um, reconstruct past climate change. The thing I love the most is that we are answering, we think, really cool questions about how climate changes on land, and so the caving is just a bonus to that. Our ViewCast crew actually crawled, climbed, and slid through the Blue Spring Cave with Oster. See the research firsthand. You can watch more here or search Oster and Cave on our homepage. Read more about the latest research going on at Vanderbilt. Go to our homepage and click Research. Think caving is an adrenaline boost? Try running on the Commodore's football field. My class and I ran with Chancellor Zeppos to ring in this year's football season. Get all the details on the Commodore Nation and buy tickets on vucommodores.com. Until next time, I'm Annie Randall.